high impact works in that particular Sachivalaya. So the most important thing here is these works that these MLAs approve of as high impact works. These works should be sanctioned on a war footing basis. Because every month the MLA visits six Sachivalayams and then the next month he visits another six Sachivalayams. So by the time he visits another six Sachivalayams, the first six, six Sachivalayams that he had visited in the previous month, work should have started. So within a month's time, the works should have been started. So that means the sanctioning and the commencement of works, the window that you have is one month time. So within that one month after the MLA and this whole team visits that village, within a month's time you need to ensure that these works take off. E-crop is the most important thing when it comes to agriculture, when it comes to delivery of any scheme. So please make sure that there is no goof up here. Now this time I want all the collectors to take responsibility on e-crop. I will hold collectors personally responsible for any kind of goof up here in e-crop. So please ensure that the collectors get involved in this process of verification and supervision of the e-crop done by the village agriculture assistants and the VROs. So please focus on digital libraries giving it the highest priority among the buildings. And the 4,500 locations that where the cable would be reaching by December end, you would have to focus on those buildings so as to make full utilization of that cable that actually reaches those villages. With the other day I had gone to, uh, in my constituency, Pulavendala, I had visited one of the secretariats, Velpula, in Velpula village. And uh, I had, uh, in that secretariat complex, uh, I had visited all the buildings coming up in that complex. And when I had gone to this digital uh, uh, library, which is coming up there, you will be surprised. It is catering to 30 graduates in that village who are actually utilizing the services of the digital library as work from home. 30 people, 30 children. 30 graduates are utilizing this facility through the digital libraries, uninterrupted, unlimited bandwidth. 30 children in that village. I think this is something what every collector can boast, I mean, boast about. I think you need to focus on this. So now moving on to housing and outsides. This is one area which can actually change the landscape of the state's GSTP. So please focus on, I mean, in fact, this is one program which is very dear to me. CMO is personally monitoring this program as well. We're targeting on 21st December, we're targeting for completion of at least five lakh houses. I mean completion on th by 21st December. So please ensure that uh, no, 3.5 lakh houses uh, uh, in, in, in these uh, housing, in, the, in these housing colonies that we speak of, 
and 1.50 lakh uh, houses through TIDCO. Through TIDCO, 1.5 lakh houses and 3.5 lakh houses through the Jagannath colonies. Since 5 lakhs at least is our target for 21st December, please uh, gear up for that and uh, ensure that they complete it. And another important area that the collectors would have to focus on, very, very important aspect. By the time the house is con completed, be it anywhere, please ensure that you provide for electricity, water, and drainage. Please ensure that these three are provided for every house by the time they are completed. Because anybody who wants to shift into the house will ask for these three. Electricity, drainage, and water. So very, very important that you people focus on this. Most important thing is being available for Spandana. If the concerned person, starting from the collector, is, uh, is made available on that particular day, then 50% of the problems will be addressed. Because the person is there, wanting to do the duty. Then automatically he will render, his, he will render the services. Then automatically 50% of the grievances are addressed. So please ensure that that availability factor is always there. And also in your review meetings, it's very important that the collectors also make a note of whether the spandana meets, whether the spandana grievances are taking place at the Sachwalayam level between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. every day. Between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. every day at the Sachwalayam level, spandana should take place. All these officers should be in the Sachwalayam attending to this program. Their entire field visits should be completed by them. Those two hours between 3 and 5, they should be available. And you need to ensure that in your monitoring on every, on every Wednesday that you review this program, you need to look at these aspects as well. So it's once again very, very important aspect that the most important thing in this Spandana is it's not the quantity, it is the quality. It is the kind of passion and empathy that we show in wanting to solve the problems of the people, that is the most important aspect. This, can, uh, this, this is my uh, suggestion to every collector, every SP. When we are empathetic, so will our subordinates. When we are concerned, when we show our concern, so will our subordinates. So it's very, very important that you show your concern. Imagine yourself in the shoes of the petitioner and try and resolve these issues. It is very, very important that you show this humanity towards uh, the, the petitioner who comes there. We have brought about, in uh, dealing with Spandana grievances, it's on two counts. One is uh, making sure that uh, before you address the grievance, uh, it's a new feature that we have brought about, that before you address the grievance, uh, you, message the, you message the petitioner and you make a phone call to the petitioner that on so-and-so date, uh, our person will come and directly 
meet you in person and uh, address the grievance with you. That's a new feature that we've added and that's showing tremendous results. Uh, and that should be continued and it's showing phenomenal results. That's a new feature that has been added on uh, 14th, uh, 14th of September, which is really good. And uh, another feature that has also been added, uh, this has been added on uh, three days back. This is uh, uploading of image and uploading of image. That is a selfie as a proof of field inquiry as mandatory along with the, along with the petitioners. These two are showing phenomenal results in satisfaction levels. So please ensure that both these things, one, one is messaging and also making a phone call to the petitioner, informing him of the date on, on which day you would be coming, which day the official, official would be visiting them. That is one feature which is now being made mandatory. And another feature which is also being mandatory is when you go meet the petitioner, there is a selfie taken at the location with the petitioner, which is also being made mandatory. Now with these two things coming in, satisfaction levels are bound to go up. We are empathetic. So will our subordinates. When we are concerned, when we show our concern, so will our subordinates. So it's very, very important that you show your concern. Imagine yourself in the shoes of the petitioners and try and resolve these issues. It is very, very important that you show this humanity towards uh, the, the petitioner who comes there. Once again, at the cost of repetition, I'm saying, one ACB number in every office in, the every, in, of, in every office in the district, and that is, should be a three by five poster, not a small poster, but a three by five poster, visibly put up in every location where people can see in every office. 